Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, thanks for joining in. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, and comment, and subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about looming. And if you've never heard of looming before, it's so much fun. I think it's a lot easier than knitting and actually crocheting. All you need is three simple things. Yarn, and so I like to use the brunette version. It's really soft, and I got like a turquoise color. And you just need the looming tool and the looming stick here. So I just wanted to show you guys what the looming is going to actually look like when you're done. So this is a previous blanket that I've made, but look at the pattern that it makes. All right, so to get started, you're just gonna take all of the wrapping off the yarn. And what we're gonna do is actually just find the end of your yarn here first. Do you find the end of your yarn, you're just gonna take about maybe three or four inches and just tie it on this little knob here on your actual looming tool. Okay, so once you tie the yarn to the peg here, getting started is kind of the most difficult part, so this is where you wanna pay the most attention. So you're going to take the yarn, wrap it around the first peg, and then go across and wrap it around the second peg. And then now you're gonna go through a series of figure eights across all the pegs like this. So you don't have to use the whole width of the loom tool itself. So if you're making a scarf, you could just do it maybe right here. But if you're making a blanket, I would suggest going all the way. So you can make baby blankets, and you can make larger adult blankets. So for me, I like to go all the way across and use the whole width of the loom tool. And I really like this yarn too, because it's multicolored. So as you're making the project, it'll actually intertwine all the colors in with each other. So once you get to the last desired end and you get to your last peg, you're gonna stop right here and kind of just hold your yarn. And you're gonna start to push all of this yarn down the pegs all the way across. Get all of your yarn pushed all the way down you're here at the end and so what you want to do your string is all the way across like this and you're going to wrap it but you're going to skip this one and you're going to go to this one and you're going to start your figure eight pattern again but this time you're going to go back to the way you started You're at the end and what you're gonna do is just wrap your yarn around that last peg and just kind of put it through these two pegs over here and kind of just clasp it and keep some tension and now what you want to do is really focus on the bottom part here and this was the first row that we did and then you can see the top part which was the second row on our way back and now you just want to take that bottom loop with your looming tool and you're just going to grab that bottom loop and pull it over the top loop like that and you're going to do this for every loop all the way across So once you get to your last peg, you're just gonna flip it and do the second side here. So 
So once you have gone all the way to the end and you put all of your bottom hooks in, over to the top, you wanna start over here and you're just gonna push down with your fingers all of those loops that you just made. So once you've pushed all of your first two rows interconnected with each other, you're left with your yarn here, uh, directly across here again. So you are going to take it, just like this, and your figure eights again. you've gotten all the way to the end again you find yourself with your yarn directly across so you're gonna just lock it right there and you're gonna just take what you've already had and you made in the beginning and you're just gonna loop it back over the top again all right so once you've completed this side you're just gonna flip it and do the same exact thing that you just did on this side So once you've looped both sides again, you're just going to push all of that back down. So what's really cool is once you've done a couple rows and you see the bottom of the loom here, you can really start seeing your project to come through the bottom. And so this is initially what's going to start creating your blanket or your scarf or whatever that you're trying to make. And it's just going to continually keep getting longer and keep feeding through the bottom of the loom here. So what I'm gonna do now is do a few rows just so you guys can see the progress of what it's gonna look like after you continually keep doing this over and over again. So I've done three rows now and you can really see all of that yarn coming through the bottom. You can see all the beautiful turquoise and dark blue colors coming through. Okay, so I've done 10 rows now and you can see it's turning out really well. And you can see how the initial string that we had here that was originally tied up here, it's kind of fed through the loom. You can always cut that off in the end of your project. We are at our first 20 rows of our project. And as you can see, it's turning out really well. So once you get to the desired length of your project, you're going to need to know how to take the yarn off the pegs. So what you want to do is actually pick one side and take all the loops off on that side and transfer them over to the other peg on the other side. And you're gonna wanna do that all the way down. You can see I've taken all the loops off this side and if you flip this around, you can see how all the loops that were on this side are all on top here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the bottom loops here and bring them over the top of each of the top loops. So you wanna make sure that you actually start from this end over here and not this end with your yarn already still connected. So you're gonna take your second loop here and transfer it over this loop and then you're going to take the bottom loop of this one and bring it over the top here and then you're going to transfer this loop over to this one so you've disconnected that one peg there and you're going to keep doing this over and over you're going to take this one and transfer it over to this one and then take the bottom, pull it over the top, and then take this and bring it over. And you're gonna keep doing this all the way down. Okay, so once you're down to your last peg, you're just going to 
cut about eight inches away. So you're just left with that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and take that final loop off the peg. Just pull all of that through. So this is all you have left. Next, you're just going to feed that final string through the final loop here and pull. And just pull till it's tight and it creates a natural knot there. You can just cut that final piece of string off right here. And that's it, and you're done. And with the string that we initially started with, you can actually feed it through down here and create a knot and cut that string off as well. And there you have it guys, it's finished. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video on looming. If you really like this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. See you soon.